And thanks so much. I feel for the Collins because the first baby, it's, it takes forever. You're in the hospital forever. And then the second, third, and so on. It's just, it happens before you know it. So you feel for them and congratulations. We appreciate them sharing your story in the hospital, uh, no less. All right, so beautiful day out there today, but it looks like it's already starting to cool down. Yeah, it is going to turn cooler for the rest of the week around here. But I think if you kind of keep this in perspective here, it's only going to get cooler. It's not going to turn cold, at least not yet. That's down the line. And we were talking about that a little bit earlier. That's in about two more weeks when Kevin's, we got cold. Kevin's yeah. looking at some snow. <laughs> yeah, that's about two weeks away <laughs> from now. But we'll talk more about that in the weeks ahead. Of course, we've got a little time to keep an eye on the big chill that's coming as we head later and deeper into the month of December. But for now, we're just going to cool things off just a little bit because we've been in the 60s the past two days and here we are even late on this November night. Temperatures are still well into the 50s for many of us. In fact, it's still 55 in Mason, Springboro at 53. It's 52 in Alexandria, Harrison at 52. However, the cold spot tonight is down here in Maysville at 39. It's going to be one of those type of nights where if you live in a valley or a low lying area, you're going to be a little bit colder than your neighbor because we've still got this light southwesterly breeze outside. So if you're kind of in a sheltered area from the wind, low lying area that cool air tends to sink into some of those valleys. Most of us, though, going to stay in the 40s tonight. It's 50 officially at the airport. There's that southerly breeze at the time. All right, check out temperatures across the area tonight. As I alluded to, most of us will be hard pressed to drop below about 45 for an overnight low. So let's go mid 40s for lows for most of us across the area. In fact, this is closer to where our average high should be for this time of the year. Now tomorrow is going to be a different story. Temperatures aren't going to climb as quickly tomorrow as cooler air will kind of be gradually sneaking its way in. However, with sunshine a good part of the day, you probably won't really realize it until late in the afternoon. But highs tomorrow are going to be about five to seven degrees cooler than they were today. So they'll range anywhere from around 50 to our north and our northernmost communities to mid 50s generally to the south of the Ohio River. So here's kind of your out the door forecast for tomorrow morning. Not as chilly at 5 a.m. in the 40s by 7 a.m. Expect mostly cloudy skies and by 9 sunshine will be returning to a good part of the area. So here's a look at tonight. You can see we've got that cloud cover that's on the increase. The cold front is still back here between Chicago and St. Louis. It's moving into dry air. So aside from producing some clouds, don't expect any rain to accompany this cool front. Here's a look at future cast. In fact, you can see that band of cloud cover that drifts its way across the area in the morning. Then we get back to sunshine and overall it looks like a nice day tomorrow. It's just not going to be as warm as it was today, but I'll take mid 50s in late November. Here's a look at tomorrow night into Thursday morning. Thursday starts dry, but there's another little cool front that comes through Thursday afternoon with a round of showers. If you notice, though, it didn't look terribly heavy. It's a fast mover and we're right back to chilly or weather for Thursday, Friday and the weekend. But again, it's just cooler, not bad for early December. So 45 for a low tonight, just a few clouds, not as cold. And then tomorrow expect, well, partly cloudy skies, slightly cooler. 55 is still warmer than we should be. We should only be in the upper 40s now. Here's a look at your hour by hour forecast. Over the next couple of hours, we'll gradually kind of settle back through the mid 40s. And then tomorrow morning with sunshine, temperatures will rebound back into the 50s as we start to cloud up for that uh, wet weather maker that moves in here on Thursday. So Thursday brings us our best chance for rain this week. And then you can you can see behind that front temperatures kind of settle back closer to highs around 50 and you know it's seasonably cold at night. Now that we're going to be in early December, you expect our temperatures at night to kind of be around freezing or below. As we head into Monday, we've got the Bengals and Steelers right here on Channel 5. That's going to be a big game, and I think the weather's going to cooperate for the most part. While there's a small chance for a few showers on Monday, it won't be heavy, and it doesn't look at this point like it will be anything that has a significant impact. But more importantly, Sheree, and I know you'll enjoy this, for many of the fans will as well, heading to the game on Monday night. It looks mild. Think about at 50s in early December for a December evening football game. Yeah, that looks really nice. Let's hope that we can hold off that.